Keep your pseudo scientific quackery, that shit is whack to me. You manufacture data, I close the factory. Then actually, you have to be nuts to think that is factually proven. You must be stupid, don't like the two words before you prove it. He's thinking he's the meanest, he's the formulating arguments, so suave it. It's gotta be the truth, and I mean all of it. It's marvelous, and leads all of us atheists and all of it. We should just shut up quickly and leave our tones moderate. He comes across my songs, and then instantly he gets butter. He does a search of all of his arguments, no, they won't work. Now, who's the one that is responsible for how the world is? Who's the one that is responsible for how we all live? It takes the negative influences and poisons all the kids, so they just repeat the stupid shit that you and I did. You know, I've never wanted to be the type of person that let my personal biases or my discomfort with a topic or a conclusion to cause me to reject the evidence for it. And there are a great many topics that I am uncomfortable with. Maybe not the topic itself, but the conclusions that are usually observed about the topic. But be that as it may, evidence sways me. I, if someone has strong evidence for something, and the arguments to the contrary, the, the attempts to debunk or disprove it, aren't really that convincing to me, then regardless of how, how uncomfortable I am with that conclusion, I am forced to accept it. Because in, in all good conscience, if I, if I didn't and I allow those biases to drag me away from this evidence, I wouldn't feel too good about myself. That's just me. So it... Now mind you, I've had to evolve to that point. I haven't always been like that. I haven't always thought like that. There was a time, as I'm sure it was a time in most people's lives, when I was ruled by my biases. I was ruled by things that I wanted to be a certain type of way and I would not accept any claim to the contrary regardless of how thoroughly researched it was regardless of how uh, how much evidence there was to support it. And because I understand that at one point that was me too I try to get, have a little bit of understanding towards the people that are still stuck into that still stuck in that way of thinking but it, it's getting harder as the day goes on um, I hear people say some really ridiculous things and it's nothing wrong with being ignorant as long as you're you're able to fix that like someone can come up to you and, and present to you a rational argument show you the, the evidence and the data that supports it and at the very least, it should give you pause. A lot of folks that I've come in contact with in this entire time that I've had this channel and I've been using it to rant my ideas and stuff like that, I've just started to realize that a lot of the people, even a lot of people that I grew up with, some of the same ideas that all of us used to bandy about and just accept as this is the truth, this is this is the reality, this is the facts. A lot of those things I've come to find out are false. They're untrue. They have no standing at all and all it would take to do is to just research it further. So sometimes it's a bit hard having conversations with a lot of the people that I've grew up with, you know, when it comes to certain things because I have a stricter standard of evidence for what I would accept to be true. Um, anecdotal evidence is the weakest of all of those. Um, and like I said, it's kind of hard. Now, if it is that way for me, I'm wondering how many of you out there are actually, you know, the same way. You know, it's people that you grew up with, people that are family members or friends, you love them dearly. But then sometimes you hear them repeat some of the the stuff that you probably used to say yourself. And it's like, wow, wow. Um, 
Um, so leave a comment in the comment section and let me know if it's the exact same for you. Do you have a hard time, you know, communicating with a lot of the people from your past that you grew up with now that you have decided to take a more, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for, a more scientific approach to how you um, analyze a claim? Is it more difficult for you now? And by the way, I just need to thank all of the people that have supported this Celestial War event campaign. It's been overwhelming. Um, I've seen examples of generosity from people that it really, it's, a, it's, it's good to see. Let me just say it's, it's good to see. There have been people that have no way at all to actually make it to the show as far away as Australia that have paid for the highest support tier specifically and specifically requested that give those seats away to someone who may can't afford it but would like to go and I thought that was just awesome that that was awesome it's a pretty pretty cool little community of people that we have formed and I just wanted to let you guys know that we appreciate everything you guys have done. We still haven't reached our goal. Our goal is $4,000. Um, but I really think that we're on tap to do so. So if any of you feel like this is something that you are interested in, you want to come see us perform, you want to come hang out with us at the Smithsonian Institute in, in Washington, D.C., I'm going to leave a link in the description box so you can get the rest of the information. And we even have a contest going where um, you might can get VIP seats if you win the contest. So I'll leave all that information in the description box. Thank you guys again, and I'll talk to you later. The second law of thermodynamics is the most curious of all. It says that total amount of disorder or entropy always increases in the universe. In other words, things rust. Things decay. Everything gets old and eventually falls apart and rots. It's been about 13 billion years or so I wonder where the years have flown I've been a part of it all and even with the stairs vanish and grow I've seen the laws of physics sort out themselves I've seen the stars and planets form from out of gravity well Even galaxies collided with others in cataclysmic wonder I caused destruction on levels too high to have a number Part of reality's fabric attached to it like a magnet I'm not a villain, there's no reason to panic 